drawing again. <clears throat> to draw really yeah you gotta show me some no you gotta show me some. come on let me see no all right i'm gonna show you all right back back back, back. okay okay huh Your tragic little story. I didn't ask you. TikTok is that we love to support small artists so if you are a small artist use this sound and show off your art and anyone who's scrolling through their for you page and you find this beautiful art and you love it if you want to support this artist one of the best things you can do is click share and then copy link and it'll really help them in the algorithm do it do it do it <laughs>
o o Amazon a ukus a ukus m o m m anel mais moralus fotos bus suspaman weirdus Also nicht diesen Fehler machen. Danach geht Minecraft los. Und dann so welche Sachen. Es fängt von hier und dann auch von hier. Und danach noch diese Dinger. Und noch diese. Zwei Streets. Und danach ein Kreis. Muss wegradieren. Wenn ihr so welche Stifte habt von Teddy, dann benutzt 136. Smashy. Boom. Yo. Also ihr müsst alles umranden. Hauptsache man kann auch die Linien erkennen. Und jetzt diese hier. Und danach hier am meisten. Und hier auch. Nutzt dann die normale Hautfarbe und danach könnt ihr damit malen. Jetzt hast du dein Sixpack. Okay, so in my last video I received a lot of hate comments. So, I'm going to address this video. So, a lot of non-artist and artist in the art community were hating on the way I draw characters, my ox moths, etc. One thing I have to say is artists have different art styles, different shapes and sizes for noses, eyes, mouth, body parts. People who hate should feel shameful and guilty about how you criticize the way other artists draw or learn their style of art. If you want to hate on someone else's art, Take a look at yours and make a change. If you have something mean to say about that person, just as TF you. You aren't better in any way. Hating on a artist's art is totally disrespectful and rude. So just stop and be a better person.
Listen to some tunes. Yo, Yo. MF Doom. Fuck the underrated. I wanna have everything they did. Friends, bitches, need money. Why sell gold? Why's a body cat house helicopter? Fame. at me and telling me that she loves me and I just look at her and I can't muster up anything. I feel nothing and I feel empty and I'm scared. Oh my god, I don't fucking care.
the trick when doing art instead of trying to copy line for line learn the shapes of the facial features you're referencing figure out the facial mapping and then put it all together if i can do it you can too I wanna rip out my intestines, throw them in the sea I wanna raise the money to invest in plastic surgery I wanna cover myself at to toe in super sexy scars Cause I mean, aren't you supposed to burn if you're a star? I want to be torn apart excruciatingly 
I punish my body cause it's not good enough for me The scary thoughts are spreading like a weed The thoughts say that I deserve to bleed I wanna take a Hi, so I think it's fairly obvious from my art that I'm into a sort of alternative punk aesthetic and um, I definitely vibe with that uh, but in our community we talk a lot about revolution and I'm just, I'm a little confused. Are we meaning like a socialist revolution or are we talking about anarchy? Um, they're kind of like complete opposites. So I'm so confused why there's such an overlap in like the aesthetics of it. And I'm, uh, uh, help me out a bit here. I think I do. My thoughts while drawing my first alt series drawing. I DK why I've been so obsessed with the alternative style lately. Girly is so pretty, and for what um, um hey Ash is not a minor TikTok. DW, please if I post this, don't take it down. I might just draw random tattoos on her to make her look cool. I plus it's fun, so why not? I dig her name yet I want to make her pansexual P.S. I'm doing that. Fight me homophobes. Oh, it's Pride Month. Happy Pride Month to me and everyone else. I'm a simp for her she's so attractive. Literally I'd get on my knees for her and marry me my queen.
Willkommen bei einer neuen Video. Und zwar, wie man einfach Körper zeichnen. Wolle, wolle, einfach. Nimm einfach ein hässliches Stift oder ein schönes Stift. Ah! Macht einen St Kreis. Ja, Kreis. Strich. Hast du eine wunderschöne Gesicht? Also du machst so, dann so, dann so. Und dann machst du den Kreis zu Ende und dann noch dein Ohr. Dann machst du so einen Hals, diese schöne Hals. Dann machst du so, als ob. Dann, wie gesagt, dann machst du so einen Strich, keine Ahnung warum. Dann machst du so, dann so, dann machst du einfach fette, große XXL-Hände, die andere so, dann hast du so ein hässlicher Mensch. Okay, jetzt lernt sich, finde ich schön. Für die Augen machst du so, der andere auch so, dann machst du so, also such dir eine Richtung, wo der guckt. Dup, 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 dup. Fette Nase, Haare, schöne Haare, da, 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 da. So, so hast du eine wunderschöne Mädchen. Und folge mir auf YouTube, bitte. to me with your tragic little story. I didn't ask you. Not Nessa, Sarah, Lay. That would be. And I guess I'll just miss her. Even though she isn't even really gone. Things are just different. Ever since you cut her blue hair off. Attempting to draw like a 2020 of artist. Pick 
Let's make an artwork to go with this sketchbook cover. I want it to match my bloodbath Lydia keychains. I have a bunch of pose sketches that might fit, but I decided to go with something new. I've never done a back view pose for decorated sketchbook before. This way the focus will be more on the wings and outfit details than the character's face. I think it creates a nice little bit of contrast, especially since the background is very detailed. I usually sketch in pen for my ink drawings, but I decided to experiment a little with color before inking as well. I usually add color after inking, but coloring this way made the sketch more than just planning for the drawing. This was so fun to do and I love how it turned out. Okay, tutorial. I can do that. Paper. Pencil. And not a mechanical pencil because mechanical pencils are known to explode. For example, look what happens when I just explode. Step one. Circle. Step two. Line. Step three. Whatever this is. Nice. Step four. The delicious little ears. Congratulations, you have the basic face shape down. Now on for the body. One. Neck. Don't forget the little, the little shading. If you'll just fo focus the cap. Step I forgot. This will be our collarbone. I know it's very difficult, but I believe in you. The body shape can obviously be differently than what I'm about to do, but I'll just draw what I did for the drawing that you just saw. This shape, this shape, this shape, the exquisite little calf muscles. Now for the arms, you just gotta eat. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, arms are really difficult. I don't like them. I think we should just get rid of arms as a whole. I think that'd be helpful. Shablam! Nice. We got the nice little feetsies. Now for my mortal enemy. The hands. Uh, 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 uh. Nice. Ish. Okay, time to show you how I did it. Bloop, blop, bleep, blarp, blog and schnoff. That's the basic body shape, but whoa. Okay, let me let me fix these legs. Shoo. Shwap. Eek eek. Whap. Okay, now we have the basic thing down. Okay, now on for the detail. Eyeball. Eyeball. Triangle. Ooh. Comment what kind of clothes and hair and everything else you want to see on this beautiful creature. As for the tutorial, I hope you liked it. Now go have fun. Goodbye.
Pom barom pom pom barom pom barom pom pom barom pom barom pom pom barom